Hey my friends, welcome back to another video. Today we will be talking about being worth it. So awakening the feeling of worthiness within is a huge celebration of life because many people are feeling unworthy. When it comes to health, many people feel like I'm not worthy of feeling healthy or I'm not worthy of being abandoned. I'm not worthy of being loved. And it is all happening unconsciously. As today I'm celebrating my birthday, which I'm truly grateful for. I got this special feeling to share this topic with you. Feeling worthy to receive whatever is that you're about to receive. As we all understand that our reality is a reflection of our internal state. The point here is that we become more aware of our internal state so we can start affecting of, on our external reality. Becoming more aware of our internal state takes or requires a greater amount of awareness. Awareness is like a point of consciousness. And that point can expand so we can become more aware of more things. And if we place our awareness into the center of our minds, for example, we will recognize what thoughts are not serving us anymore, what thoughts we should let go, what thoughts we should stop feeding with our attention. And what are the new thoughts, more supportive thoughts to a greater connection, more supportive thoughts for our creativity or creative expression, more supportive thoughts for our future self so we can get where we would like to be. What thoughts will define you? By what thoughts you want to be defined? We can all choose that. And with our attention, we are feeding the thoughts. Think more about that and less about that. Become more about that and less about that. But when it comes to becoming, it's not about thinking the thoughts. We need to feel them. Because if thinking is happening in the mind, feeling is happening in the body. So when it comes to worthiness, we need to feel worthy, not just thinking that we are worthy. I'm worthy of that, I'm worthy of that, I'm worthy of that. Do you feel it? Do you feel if you say, I'm worthy to receive that abundance in my life? Do you feel it? Or it's just an empty word? Statement, let's say, that way. Feeling it means that we become aware also of our bodies in the present moment. Usually, our bodies are in the past, feeling emotionally our past experiences. But in the present moment, all we feel is joy, love, happiness, infinite abundance. Everything is present. But we need to step out of the frames of the past so we can experience present in its full state. Everything is already present, but the question is, do you know how to enter into that present state? We are actually experiencing lives from the state of present moment. But with our attention, then we are choosing what we want to experience and how we want to see it, how we want to see that experience. So with our perception, usually we are thinking a little bit about the past, a little bit about the future. And because body is always following the mind, body is feeling emotions from our perception. Oh, those events from the past, those events which are coming in the future, let's, let's feel it, right? So body is always feeling different events. But once we fully get into the present moment, in the now, feeling the breath, breathing in and breathing out, 
and one more time breathe in and just be aware in which areas of your body that air is traveling in and breathe out and just recognize the emptiness in the now and now say I feel worthy of that breath and breathe in and feel it breath is life and you are worthy you are worth it of life and breathe out and now breathe in love and feel it and say I am worthy of love so I will treat myself like that and I will treat everyone around me like that because everyone is worth it of love if I am worth it of love everyone is worth it of love let's not make any difference between one another because we are all equally worth it of everything we choose so remember that worthiness we always can choose to feel worth it but it's a practice it's a consistent repetition of practice feeling it until it becomes unconscious state until it becomes unconscious state that you are worth it because you are but I can't say to you you are worth it and you will change also I can't say to me I am worth it and I will change because we have so many programs in our minds thinking we are that way we are that way this is who I am this is how I should feel this is how I should think and so on but not many times we are consciously reprogramming ourselves who we want to become and however we think we start developing our future self like a blueprint in which direction we are going who we are about to become if we are constantly thinking same thoughts we will not change much just get older so let's think greater thoughts inspired by the vision of the future which actually can uplift us uplift the spirit which can connect us on the deeper level of consciousness of which is already connecting us you know the web of life a divine matrix or however we want to call that great web on which we are connected while we are thinking of a certain person and suddenly that person is calling us on the phone or we are th thinking about certain thing and suddenly somebody else or a random person start talking about it that's how everything is connected so let's use that connection for the greater good if we are constantly complaining we are using that connection for manifesting those things that we are complaining about and then we say oh does it's always happening to me let's use that connection for the greater good oh I love how people are waking up I love how people are becoming more self-love oriented I love how people are becoming more creative you know we have many challenges but people are so creatively thinking about solutions and not just that I'm so inspired when I see that everybody is taking actions in their life so we can all create changes for myself I've decided I will paint I will share the message with you I will do things which inspires me and I will share that inspiration through me with you but some people will find it in other ways someone will become a doctor someone will become a scientist someone one will become a mechanic but if we are doing it with open hearts and with honest expression and with inspiration from the greater connection we will all do magic in our work and that's the beauty so being inspired by that divine force which is connecting all of us 
is the greatest form or the greatest way we can create changes. Inspiration is always there. We just need to connect to that frequency of inspiration. And to connect to that frequency of inspiration, we need to feel worthy to receive it. We need to feel good about ourselves. We need to have some fun. We need to enjoy our lives a little bit more. There are states of misery. There are states of being stressed and being afraid. Like I was talking yesterday a little bit about that. When we are at the bottom, we can't see far away from us. We need to go a little bit higher and stop ourselves and just observe and reflect our lives to see, well, I could do those things a little bit differently. Well, I could add some changes there. Well, my behaviors, oh, I have a lot to work on that. And my habits, okay, yes, if habits are consistent repetition of certain action, well, I will need to take more time with new actions. But I'm ready to create those changes. So I'm willingly ready to go through anything will happen in front of me. Because I'm ready. Because I feel worthy of changes in my life. And that's where change starts happening. We need to feel worthy. So this is it, my friends. This is it for today. I'm sending you love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day, my friends, and celebrate with me today. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate this day. Because it's another beautiful day. I can see sunshine outside and I'm just about to go outside into the nature to enjoy and to have some fun. So I'm sending you all love once again. Have a beautiful day and see you soon. One love.